Finding the whole picture involves solving the biggest dragon riddle of all. How does the dragon keep turning up in so many cultures? Dr. Jones believes that the dragon is actually hardwired into our brains, remnants of instincts that kept our evolutionary ancestors from being eaten. And the fact that they were dealing at that time and for millions of years after that time with three basic predators, and these were big cats that would hunt them, and these were uh, big birds with 10-foot wingspans that would hunt them, uh, or big snakes would hunt them. Over the millennia, the image of the three basic predators of our ancient ancestors merged into one terrible creature, the dragon. Each of these three early predators carries one of the distinguishing characteristics of the dragon. Dragons have a protruding face like a cat with big teeth, which is not exactly like serpents have. I mean, this looks like a, a cat of some, of some type. And it doesn't matter how long the cat is, because if you don't see this head moving towards you with this mouth open, it, again, uh, you're, you're dead. You've got to respond to that. I think this is also uh, where, where perhaps the idea of the dragon's deadly breath comes from, because carnivorous animals develop a terrible breath because the meat becomes putrid. Envisioning dragons with talons might come from our genetic memories of predatory birds. The bird of prey will attack with their talons first, out like this. And so it's that if this creature is sitting here and these talons are coming, if it doesn't recognize that, it doesn't matter. And escaping snake attacks is easier if you have innate knowledge of how they attack. It has to move its body up before it can attack. And I think this, this moving the body up basically is one of the reasons why when you look at that coming at you with the body rising, <laughs> is why dragons generally have long serpentine necks. Dr. Jones's theory can explain why every culture, no matter how isolated, would develop a belief in dragons. The seeds are already planted deep in our brains. We're left to deal with them even as our circumstances change. We are very imaginative creatures. We, we construct worlds that don't exist. We, we have these notions that are totally unrealistic. We put ourselves into these make-believe situations, and so dragons, why not? Today, we still construct worlds populated by dragons, and we use our most advanced technologies to do it. Video games like Dungeons and Dragons, bring dragons to life like never before. That's what started dragon tales. We even transform dragons into lovable creatures designed to amuse our children. We're probably stuck with dragons for the long haul. It's impossible to prove that dragons never existed so it's hard to eliminate that tiny voice deep inside our brains that says, maybe. A recent example? In 2004, this yard-high bottle is found outside London. Minds race. Hearts skip a beat. The creature has scaly skin, wings, claws, and huge eyes our subconscious recognizes it instantly. The paperwork accompanying the bottle says it's centuries old. For days, respected British newspapers headline the discovery of this baby dragon in a jar. The science editor covers the story. If nobody believes in dragons, why does everyone ask, is it real? Why is the Natural History Museum interested? even the TV crew can't get close enough. I think one thing that makes the dragon such a perennial favorite is the fact that even though it comes across as being a kind of ultimate antagonist, hard to stop, hard to defeat, unpredictable, ultimately it's also the kind of monster that secretly is fun to identify with. It gets to do everything that human beings don't get to do. Um, it gets to be the one who gets to throw around its weight. 
exert its power over the rest of the world. I think there's a good reason why all seven-year-old boys are big fans of dragons. They're everything that a boy isn't allowed to be. Fact or fantasy? A moot question. There is always going to be a part of us that wants to believe, that must believe, that will believe. If only to slay the dragon yet again.